Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at module 4, lesson 12's homework. And it starts off by saying, use place value discs to solve each problem. Rewrite the problem vertically and record each step as shown in the example. So if you have your place value discs, you are more than welcome to use them to answer. If you don't have your place value discs, you could also draw a place value chart on your paper or on a piece of scrap paper to help you do these. All right, so the first one has been started for us. It says 34 minus 18, and they started by um, putting it in vertical form. So they wrote 34 and then directly underneath it, they have minus 18. And you'll see that they put the magnifying glass around the 34. All that magnifying glass means or the reason for it's there is that they want you to look really close at 34 before you start subtracting. So they looked really close at 34 and they realized that they had four ones and they could not take eight away. So they needed to unbundle a 10 to get more ones. So now they have two tens and 14 ones and they were able to do their subtraction. Let's go ahead and look at B and I'll show you this problem. All right, it says I've got 41 and I wanna subtract 16. All right, so I'm gonna use my magnifying glass. I need to look really carefully at 41. All right, it has one in the ones place. Can I take six ones away? No, I cannot. It's not enough ones. So I need to unbundle a 10. I had four tens, but I need to borrow one of those. So now I have three tens. I had one one, but I am getting 10 more ones from the 10. So 10 plus one gives me 11 ones. Now, looking closely, if I have 11 ones, can I take away six? Yes, I can. And I'm going to use counting up to subtract. So if I've got six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 minus six gives me five, and three minus one gives me two for an answer of 25. And if you're showing this on your place value chart, I'll just use this one, 41 minus 16. So I start off by showing 41, here's 41, and I wanna take away 16. So I start off by taking away six ones, but same problem that I had before, I can't take away six ones. So this is the part in the problem where I unbundled a 10 and rewrote it as 10 ones. Now I can show it on here. Unbundle a 10, and now I'm gonna show it as 10 ones. All right, so it's important that we understand that this step is the same as this step. I had four tens, see I had four, but I unbundled, so now I only have three. I had one one, but I just unbundled that 10 and got 10 more ones, so now I have 11, right? See this 11 ones right here? Same as right here. Okay, now I can do my subtraction. So now that I have 11 ones, can I take away six of them? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna take away five, six, and that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five ones. And now I need to take away one ten. And that leaves me with two tens. So I get 25 either way I answer it. So that's what they want you to do for these problems. Solve it in your vertical form, 
and then solve it with place value discs or writing a place value chart. Alright, for the second page, it says, Some first and second grade students voted on their favorite drink. The table shows the number of votes for each drink. So these are all the different types of drink, and these are the number of votes each one got. And they're asking you a few different questions about it. So when you solve these questions, uh, I would solve them with a place value chart and then double check your work with your standard form. Um, but the choice is yours on how you want to solve them. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.